friend welcome to zio entire so today we are going to discuss one more important topic in the structural geology that is the classification of the folds basically in this lesson we are going to discuss a classification of the folds on the basis of deep isogon this type of classification it is also called as the classification of the folds on the basis of geometry of the folds this type of classification it is also called as john ramsey classification and this classification given by john ramsey in 1967 so now in this classification we have to understand what is a deep isogon that is the first point then second point in this classification there are three types of the folds so one is the type classification that is the class 1 type then class 2 class 3 class 1 again divided into three types that is the class 1a class 1b and last that is the class 1c so this aspect i am going to discuss in this lesson in a very simple way now what is deep isogon so see in this figure so this is the fold this is the folded layer and this is the dotted line which divides this fold into two equal parts called as axial surface stress when we take two points this point one this is called as small a and this point it is called as small b this is small a small b when these two points joins together then there is formation of line but these two points should have the deep direction or uh, angle of inc inclination to the horizontal it should be the same and when these two points joins together by drawing tangents these are the tangent this is tangent 1 and this is tangent 2 to surface of folded layer when we join these two points so this point is called as c and d c and d the point c and d the thickness is called as axial trace thickness then when we go from point e small e and f these two points when join together then that thickness is called as orthogonal thickness particularly deep isogon is a line which is formed when we connected two points having same inclination this type of classification given by the john ramsey and that is used to describe a folds in profile upon curvature of the inner and outer lines of a fold and the behavior of deep isogon so i hope you understood the deep isogon now we are going to discuss there are three classes so first one is the class 1 fold class 1 this class 1 is again divided into three types that is a class 1a class 1b class 1c then second type that is a class 2 type fold and last one is the class 3 this type of folds we have to discuss in this lesson so first we will see class 1 type of folds so in this type of classification deep isogons which are convergent the nature of the deep isogon is convergent in class 1 type of folds toward the axial surface and other thing it uh, is very important in the this type of folds curvature of outer arc so that is the outer arc is less than that of the inner arc so on the basis of this there are three types so first one is the class 1a type class 1b and class 1c now we will discuss class 1 in class 1 when we see so this line which divides this folds into two equal parts so that is the axial surface stress in this case when we see these isogons this is point this is point having deep is same this is point this is point having deep is same when we draw a tangent i have already told in this case the limbs are thicker when we see the thickness of this particular limbs here thickness is higher than this hinges so in this case the orthogonal thickness is increases towards the limb and such type of folds are called as class 1a type folds 
Then second type that is the class 1b. So this type of folds it is also called as parallel folds. So in this case the layer thickness is constant. You measure thickness here, you measure thickness here, you measure thickness here along the deep isogon. The thickness is constant. and such type of folds are called as parallel folds. But according to the Ramsey, this type of folds are called as class 1b. Then class 1c. In class 1c, when we see the hinges, these are the hinge point, these are the deep isogons. In this case, here hinges are thick compared to the limbs. So when we see these three folds, class 1a type, class 1b type and class 1c type, the common thing is that the isogons are convergent. Okay, convergent towards the center. This type of folds are called as class 1 type of folds. Then we will discuss class 2 type of folds. In class 2 types of folds, the deep isogons are parallel. So this one. So this is a axial surface stress. And these isogons, this point, this point, having deep our angle of inclination is same for the both limbs we can say that these points are similar, similar to the axial surface stress. This type of force are called as similar force. Okay. In which deep isogons are parallel to this axial surface stress. And the curvature of outer arc and curvature of inner arc is same. So therefore this type of force are called as similar force. Where in the case of class 1 type of force the isogons are convergent. Then last one that is the class 3 types of food. In this classification deep isogons are divergent in nature. So here this is the that is the axial surface stress. This axial surf, surface stress in this case the deep isogons are parallel. They are convergent towards each other but in this case they are diverted from each other and curvature of outer arc is greater than that of the inner arc and these folds are called as class 3 types of folds. So in this lesson we have discussed three types of the folds that is the class 1 type, class 2 type, class 3 types. In class 1 the isogons are convergent, deep isogons are convergent. In second type, deep isogons are parallel. In third type, the deep isogons are divergent in nature. So on the basis of this deep isogon, these three types of classification is there. If you like my video, share and subscribe my YouTube channel that is Geo Entire All About There. Thank you.